Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantles, and as you can see, I've just come back from my Ash Wednesday Mass. So, as you can see, I've got some sort of a shape on my forehead. Not exactly a cross, if I'm honest, but there's something there. And you can probably see little bits and pieces of charred palm branches, which didn't burn all the way through apparently, but now I've got that on my head. And I'm just going to go walk around like this uh, for the rest of the day. Yeah, I think that the childish notion of somehow keeping the Ash Cross on the forehead uh, definitely needs to be shelved after a while because there's feasibly no way uh, you can walk around with a cross with an ash cross on your forehead for 40 days and be seen as a hygienic person unless you wasted a huge amount of money in trying to keep that cross dry every time you showered but no some, some of us have more uh, more mature options for what we're abstaining from or giving up for lent uh, i've got some stuff i'm going to try and do and it's going to be fun because I'm going to have to work through a whole bunch of assessments as well uh, this Lent. So wish me well that I focus despite all the fatigue I'm probably going to get from reduced food intake as I try and work on my assessments. Hopefully I can get most of them done and yeah, hopefully you guys all follow your own, uh, follow your own fasting and abstaining uh, schedules uh, pro uh, properly. And you are and you are able to resist any temptations that pop pop up out of the blue. And also, all of you out there who have uh, who have this period of time as your exam season, hopefully you're all hopefully you are all able to focus and uh, do well in your assessments and get good grades for that. So otherwise, I'm just going to uh, get started on one of my assessments and have a good week, all of you. God bless you all. See you in the next video, comrades. Until then.